Sí. Eh, no, no, no pique hoy porque yo tengo los fritos. Me lo voy a comer con frito. No, what the letter says is that uh, say is that they cannot terminate the coverage if the illegal aliens mafia members who are trafficking with government with the citizens' identities and government benefits and getting millions of dollars every year while the citizens are dying for lack of medical care. Um, they cannot terminate the uh, this uh, um, genocide of American citizens because these criminals are continuing to use the taxpayers' money to pay for fraudulent insurances that are given to uh, citizens while the illegals are getting free 100% uh, paid health care in our country, which is sold to them by the said criminals working at DSS, uh, the Department of the, the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services, and the Social Security Administration offices. Um, we have also contacted uh, Mr. Trump's um, victims of um, uh, uh, um, uh, voice um, uh, agency, which is an, an agency that is in charge of investigating and prosecuting the um, illegal aliens mafia members who uh, abuse uh, our citizens and also um, uh, endanger the safety of our citizens uh, for the uh, um, in the violation of uh, our uh, laws, and this agency is called VOICE. For those of you who would like to um, look at it, it is uh, called um, Victims uh, of um, Illegal Immigration, uh, and so on. So um, this uh, agency will also get uh, information about this call, as well as the other calls. Uh, regarding the uh, cancer of Ms. Oyasin coming back after time because of falsification of federal Medicare records and the illegal alias mafia members selling her um, New York State trade medicates to illegals and forging her signature to put her in Medicare part uh, via Symboy uh, to continue the trafficking of government benefits and citizens' identities. And it is interesting uh, that uh, you cannot see um, the uh, other dates that um, she um, requested the termination of um, this illegal um, medical insurance and fraudulent medical insurance because I have it all over the uh, uh, internet and um, the uh, different investigative news reporters and um, news uh, sources have it also. So it's interesting that uh, you don't have it, but everybody else has, everybody else has it. I also interviewed uh, many other citizens, and uh, I was told that they are not allowed access to their Social Security uh, records. Uh, could you tell us why? Uh, well, that's uh, interesting because um, uh, when I went to the Social Security Administration office, the uh, lady in April of 2016, the lady uh, in uh, Betalia told us that, oh, this is such a weird thing because this never, ever happened. 
to anybody. You are the only ones who uh, who this happened to. Uh, that you cannot get access to your records online. Oh boy, uh, I'm going to submit um, a form uh, so it will allow you access to um, uh, your uh, uh, Mr. Yasun Social Security uh, records uh, and Medicare uh, records online. And then uh, we interviewed many other citizens, elderly citizens, who uh, also were not allowed uh, access to their Social Security and Medicare records. Isn't that interesting? Well, we have a My Social Security account where people can sign up and they can look over, you know, as far as what they're receiving, change their address and things like that, print award letters and things like that. There's different perks to having a My Social Security account, and that way they can actually access, you know, some information on their record. Yes, but um, we tried, uh, Luisa and I uh, tried to access the records, we couldn't. Then we interviewed another um, elderly person, an 80 years old man at Vitalia, uh, New York. He couldn't. He says, I, I come here every day and they tell me every day, we're going to fix it, we're going to fix it, and they never fix it. I have been coming here for months and they never fix it. The same thing happens to uh, Luis Ayasun and the, sa the same thing happens to millions of other citizens who cannot access uh, their um, Social Security records or Medicare records. Uh, and also, could you tell us why uh, 6.5 million uh, American citizens uh, are getting Social Security um, and they are past uh, 112 years old? That's correct. That's actually, that's actually a, new, a new one to me, Ms. Martinez. I'm, 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 I'm not familiar with that at all, just to be completely honest with you, ma'am. I'm, I'm not familiar with, you know, mm -hmm. individuals. I don't know any individual, you know, who is 112 years old, over 112 years old, receiving Social Security. You okay. Know, personally, I don't, I don't know anybody, and I, I haven't come across anybody's record. Well, um, the um, Inspector General's Office investigated uh, and found out that uh, over uh, 112 years old uh, people were getting uh, Social Security. Social Security. Hold on, somebody's knocking at the door. Uh, I'm going to see if it's an assassin who is uh, calm because I called you because my phone is illegally intercepted. Uh, give me a second. Hold on. <laughs> 